Hey guys, welcome to My Little Paintbrush. I am so glad you're here to paint with me today. I am Miss Sarah and we are going to be painting this nativity. It's one of our favorites. So as we are painting together, remember to be kind to yourself. We are learning how to paint this together. So if you need to pause the video and rewind, go at your own pace. You don't have to paint as fast as me, okay? Or maybe you're faster than me. I don't know. All right, so I'm going to be using a couple of brushes. I have a large flat, a medium flat, and a detail brush. These are my favorites for this painting. You can really use anything that you feel comfortable with, but these are the ones I'm going to be using. I do have some jars of water as well for rinsing. Acrylic paint gets super thirsty, so don't forget to use your water. First thing we're going to do is put our brush in water to loosen up the bristles. Tap it off. Okay, and I have all my colors laid out for me here for my nativity scene. And we're gonna paint the inside first, um, inside around Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus. Okay, and to make this inside color, we need to mix some white, a little bit of white, so I just pulled it away because I need to save some for later and a touch of brown. I just use a touch of brown at a time because I can always add more if I want it darker. It's a little more tricky to take it away, right? So I like to add a little bit at a time. Once I have this really light brown, I'm gonna go ahead and paint the inside of my manger here. I'm trying to go around my star and Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus without painting inside of them if I can help it. Okay, here we go. Just paint around very carefully. I'm using the toe of my brush as I get close to Mary here. If you get little tiny areas and you're using a big brush, one tip is to just use the toe of it. That's if you can imagine your brush standing on its tippy toes, it's pretty much what you're doing. Okay, now if you happen to paint inside of Mary a little bit, that's okay. It happens. And we're gonna be painting her here in a minute, so no big deal. Just doing our best. All right, so we're gonna go around here and paint around the glow around baby Jesus there. because yellow is a little bit tricky. Um, it's translucent, you can see right through it. So I do try to be very careful when I'm painting something that is going to be yellow. It's hard for yellow to cover anything up. So we're gonna do this very carefully if we can, if we know where the yellow is gonna be. All right. I'm not being super picky about the direction of my brush when I'm painting inside here. Because it's just supposed to have that rustic look of being inside a barn, right? So I'm just kind of letting it go where it wants to go and letting those brush strokes show up however they want to. Okay. There we go. So we have the inside done. All right, perfect. All right, so now that the inside is done, let's go ahead and paint the outside of our barn here. Now we have two different shades we're gonna do with our brown. Okay, we've already done a really light shade for inside the barn. Now the sides of the barn here are going to be slightly darker than the shade we just did, and the roof is going to be brown as dark brown as we can get. So I have the inside of my barn here. I'm just gonna add some brown to it now. Okay, make it a shade darker. Well, a couple shades maybe, right? Just darker, we want it darker, okay? Now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and paint up and down here of my barn. And I want to try and keep my brush stroke going up and down. That's going to give us that wood grainy look. Okay, so 
So try if you can to keep your brush strokes going that direction. There we go. You go as close as you can here to the edge. And if you notice that there's streaks showing up, it's because um, we've added another um, some more brown to our paint. So our paint isn't mixed really well. That's what gives us that barn look. You have some light brown and white and dark brown mixed in there. And it gives us those natural streaks in our paint, which is what we're going for. Okay, you can reach around now at this point and paint the sides as well of your canvas and wrap it. You can also paint the bottom. So here you can probably see better those streaks, right? It's because my paint isn't mixed really well. I just added brown to that paint, so you should be getting some little streaks. If not, just put some brown on your brush, a little bit on your brush, and brush over it, and you'll still get it. Just brown, not mixed. So if you add a little bit to your brush, it'll automatically give you those fun streaks. And don't worry, we're coming back to it. We're going to add some other things to help it look like wood, like a wood barn, being there on a barn. Okay. I want to keep this light though, right there. So if you accidentally did what I did and painted in there, just go ahead and put that back in. No worries. All right, so now that these sides are done, we're gonna do our roof and our roof needs to be dark, right? So I'm not going to mix my roof with much white. I'm going to go ahead and mix my brown here in with that shade of brown I had. But see how much darker it is? Okay, because I want my roof to really stand out as being darker. My barn is a lot bigger than your barn because I'm using a bigger canvas than you are, but it's the same, same shape, just smaller sides and a smaller roof. Okay, so we're gonna start from the star, okay, and brush straight out towards the edge of your canvas to give yourself that triangle roof. So start from your star and brush out straight out. I'm trying to keep my brush strokes going that direction, like a triangle shape. See that? So I'm going to start from my star on this side. Make sure you have enough paint on that brush. And just go straight out. Just like that. You just want that triangle shape in your roof. Here we go. And I'm trying to keep my brush strokes. I have a blind spot right there, so I can't see it. But I'm trying to keep my brush strokes going that direction. If you brush in the direction that you want your grains to show up, it, they will, they ought naturally will. So we want to try and brush in the direction of the roof. So if you have a triangle roof, you want your brush strokes to go that direction. And your strokes are gonna go right off your canvas up here and you can reach up and paint the top. Okay. We love this manger scene. It really is one of our classics at our studio. We paint it pretty much every year with our students. It's so fun. All right. And go around our star as carefully as we can. Stars are a little tricky because of all the corners. So take your time. And once I brush my star like this, then I'm going to brush over those lines and go back in the direction of my roof to brush out those lines that my star may have created. There we go. All right, so your roof should be noticeably darker than the rest of your barn here. 
It should stand out and be a bit darker. Perfect, okay. Our barn is done. If you wanna reach around and paint the sides, now you can do that. Paint around the edges. Okay, we're gonna let our barn dry a second. And let's paint our little manger. Now our manger is just the same color as our roof. Okay, so you can just use the same brown to fill in your manger. And come on down here to the bottom and just fill it in. Brushing if you can up and down. There's a little blanket there that we don't want to paint over if we can help it, right? So I'm trying to stay inside my manger. There we go. And you can reach down and paint below if you want to. Rinse your brush. Let's go ahead and start painting the faces on Mary and Joseph. So I'm gonna switch to a smaller, smaller flat brush. Okay, and you have a skin color, a skin tone here. One thing I love to do with skin tone is just add some white, just a touch of white or uh, brown, depending on the shade you wanna go with, okay? White will add a little bit of um, a shine to it without changing the skin tone too much here. Believe it or not, it just goes on a little easier. And if you add brown, it gives it a warm glow. So you can kind of decide on what shade you want to paint these faces and get creative with that. Here we go. I'm just gonna fill that in. I'll do this one as well, little Mary here. All the way around. We wanna do our skin tone before we put their outfits on. All right, so we're gonna paint baby Jesus's head here. I love his head, it has so much personality. <laughs> One of our favorite things is his eyes. He just has this, this look. <laughs> okay, so we're going to make sure we have that all filled in. Perfect. All right, so let's rinse our brush again. Make sure you rinse it really well. And we're gonna go ahead and do Mary's outfit first, okay? And I created her with a light blue. If you wanna use any of your colors here to create a different color for her, you can. Um, let's see, I'm going to add, I'm gonna take some white actually here and move it over and just add a touch of blue to it. You want to start with just a touch because blue is pretty, this fable of blue is pretty strong. It will just get dark really, really fast. So this helps you if you just do a touch at a time, this helps you gauge how dark it gets a lot easier. Okay, so I like that color. Once you like the shade of blue that you've chosen for her, you can go ahead and fill it in with a medium flat, unless you can handle a larger flat in there. I'm using a medium. We're gonna go along the edges. And I'm gonna show you how to float the edges of her outfit here in a minute. Right now we're just getting our color in. And I'm trying to brush up and down and not brush into the top of her um, wrap there around her head, okay? We have to be a little careful. Oh, I got a drip on there. Okay, come all the way around. We have to slow down a little bit here so we don't paint inside the blanket. 
piece of blanket is pretty light. Now if you do, it's okay. We have lots of options. Don't panic. We're just going to do our best to stay here. Going down, filling in all that space. We're going to go around the blanket and straight down along the edge of the manger. There we go. There's her first layer. You can do around the top here too. All the way around. And while she, her um, paint is still a little bit wet, I'm gonna show you how to do the edges. And there's two different ways you can do it. We actually do wanna do it while it's wet. So, and mine is drying so fast. Yours probably isn't drying as fast as mine. <laughs> Okay, but once you have this done, our little artist can take a line brush, that's a little tiny detail brush, and put it just in the blue that's not mixed with white. Okay, and they can just go around the edges like this and outline Mary. All right, so if our, if our younger artists feel more comfortable doing this than floating with me, I highly recommend they do that and just outline, okay? For those of you that want to try to float, I have my brush here still with the blue on it, okay? I'm just going to put the corner of it in the dark blue, the corner of my brush. Just a corner. And then you want to face that brush on the outside edge with the blue facing on the outside edge and just brush down. You can kind of see how it fades into the image. See that? It's a little bit of a different look than outlining. They're both great. It's just different. So you can keep going here with the floating or you can outline whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm going to go ahead and float all the way around Mary here with my dark blue facing out. Okay. Right around here. It takes a little bit of concentration and a lot of practice. So be nice to yourself here as you are, are learning how to float. All right. There we go. All the way around. Perfect. Just like that. And you're done. I'm going to rinse my brush really good. If you need a minute, take a minute to finish up. You can pause this video and keep floating, okay? Or outlining. I'm going to go ahead and start Joseph. His outfit is a gray, so we're going to be using a touch of black with white. I have a little bit of white remaining over here. I'm just going to take a touch of black here and mix it with that pile. Remember to just use a touch of it at a time because that black will just take over. It is so strong. You don't need a lot of it. Okay, so I'm just using a touch of black at a time to get this gray. I wanted my gray pretty light, but you can adjust that to whatever you're most comfortable with. Go around here. Just whatever you prefer on the colors. You can even change his, his color if you prefer something other than gray. We love to see what our, our artists come up with. Here we go, go right along the edge there. Brushing up and down as best you can. And we'll do the same thing in a minute. We're gonna float the edges of Joseph. Straight down here by the, the manger. And you can wrap the bottom of your canvas. So you can go all the way around with Joseph's outfit. 
I don't know if I mentioned that with Mary as well, but you do the same with Mary. You reach around the bottom if you want and wrap it all the way around. That way it's complete. All the way around your canvas. There you go. We have Joseph there. And do the top up here. Around his head. There we go. All right, so once Joseph's done, you wanna do the same thing. We wanna float the edges, and our younger artists can do what they did before using a detail brush or a line brush. And just go around Joseph with that line brush and outline with black, okay? Now they can outline or you can float with me. So I'm gonna put a little bit of black on the corner We're just going to start floating with the black fa facing out. Go. Got to slow down, right? All the way around here. Black is a strong one. It will definitely show up very well. So. Go easy on it. Okay. Let's brush in any lines. I'm gonna go along the outside, right along here as well. Straight down. I just ran out of gray. If your black starts to get out of hand like that, just reload and go back. It's better to reload and go back than to have your whole outfit turn black on you when you want it gray. Okay. We have Joseph's done there. We, gotta, we can't forget the top of his head, right? Gotta go around here too. All the way around. There it is. Perfect. Okay, I'm rinsing my brush. Clean, clean, super clean, because our next colors are very light. We're going to paint our star. So I'm gonna go ahead now and take my yellow here and add a touch of white to it on the corner. I'm not gonna mix my whole pile with white, just some of it, okay? And let's go ahead and paint our star. The only reason I add white to it is if um, any part of your star got some brown on it, if you add some white to your brush, it will help cover the brown. It's just a little trick we've learned with our acrylics. So let's go ahead and fill our star in. I'm still using my medium flat to do it. Okay. There we go. All the way down each corner. I am using the toe of my brush a lot with my star. Because it has those smaller corners, huh? So I use the toe to do the little corners. But there you have it. Make sure it's nice and covered. Okay. All right, so the wraps around their head are a little tricky. Okay, you can either float them or outline them. But I'm going to go ahead and paint them with a really light yellow. You can barely even tell 
that there's yellow in it, it looks cream, okay? I'm just using a touch of yellow and mixing it with lots of white. See, it's a very creamy color. Now we're just gonna paint them real quick here. Not worried too much, because I'm gonna come back and do the edges. But we're just gonna go around and you can change the color here. You have red and yellow and you can mix red and yellow and get orange. And you have uh, blue and red, you mix those, you can get a purple color. Okay, so you can change the color here. We have artists that change the wrap color a lot to whatever they want. And that's just great. We love to see what our artists come up with. Now wrap it around here. There we go. Okay. Now once you have that, you can go ahead and paint the halo too around baby Jesus here with that creamy color. All the way around. There we go, perfect. All right, let's rinse our brush. Let that sit just a second. I'm going to paint the blanket white and we're gonna float the edges with a little bit of yellow. And remember we wanna go around while our paint is still kind of wet. There we go. All right, so you can float or outline. We talked about outlining, right? For our little people, use your tiny little brush and go around the edges with yellow or use your little flat brush, put that yellow on the very corner and face it out. And we're gonna just float around this blanket with that yellow to give it that soft little glow, okay? All the way around. There you go. And it can be as dark or as light as you want. I kept it pretty light. There's his blanket cake. So use your line brush here to go around if you don't want to float the edges of these. You can just outline them with the yellow. Doing them both ways here so you can see. But our little people can just go around with their line brush, just like that. To get the edges done. All right. Okay, and we're, you can take a small flat, right? Like we did before and just float the edges. It's a little bit tricky. So if you wanna go for it, awesome. Just two different ways to do it. Two different looks about them. See that? And same with the halo here. You can outline it or float the edges. just to get that glow around baby Jesus' head. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, I'm rinsing my brush here. And let's put the hay. So to do the hay for baby Jesus here, we're going to mix a little bit of white, a touch of brown, and some yellow to get this hay color. See that? Mix those together until you get that golden hay color. Use your line brush. Okay, now we're gonna come over here and put the hay right under the blanket. And the fun thing with the hay is you can go all different directions. 
You can have long ones sticking out there, short ones. Okay, just kind of have fun with it. And go all the way around. Just to make it look like you've got I like to have some of them crisscrossing too, <laughs> just for fun. And give little twigs or big ones. You can have as many as you want here. But use that line brush so you get those little strokes. Okay. Have some just kind of sticking out here like whoop. Kind of got away from us, right? Hope you can see that pretty good. But you just get that fun hay there. Rinse in my brush again. Awesome. All right, let's do our faces. Don't be nervous. We're going to use um our line brush and to get us warmed up let's go ahead and just do around the top and some of our our younger artists prefer not to outline okay so if you don't want to do the outlining that's perfectly okay this is something that takes a, a lot of practice and time to learn so we love to see our artists try but that is up to you so we can outline that first and then do this little stitch work if you want. Just this little stitches, I'm just barely touching it with my brush and following it all the way around. Just gives it a fun little detail. All right, see that? Take it kind of big for you. You can decide the size on that. I'm gonna go all the way around here now, when you're doing outlining, I'll tell you one of the biggest things is to make sure you have enough water in your paint, okay, to do the outlining. If, you're, if your paint is too thick, you're going to have a hard time doing a brush stroke with this detail brush. Okay, so we got our fun stitch work on there. And now we're just gonna outline the face here with black. This is where it gets a little tricky. So if our young artists are a little too nervous to do it, that is all right. It's adorable without it as well, okay? Just gonna outline this, but you have the option the outline just so it pops a little bit on the canvas remember to add water you should be able to do a clean stroke here without picking up your brush all the way down if you can't do that you most likely need some more water on your brush go around here go around the top of her head as well And around the top of Joseph's. He most likely doesn't need it because you did that black outline already. This is just if you have anything you want to cover. Go straight down here. Perfect. All right, let's take care of this halo. And the halo is beautiful without any outlining at all. So like I said, that is completely optional. Some of our artists just love outlining. They just love the way it finishes it up. So even when we don't teach it, we'll see them doing the outlining. Cracks us up. It's really a preference thing. Everyone sees art a little bit different, and so 
you may choose not to do certain things or change the color and we'd love to see what you come up with. It's all about finding creativity in your work. All right, we're gonna come right around here. Whew, that takes some concentration right there. I'm gonna come up a little bit here on each side. Separate from Mary. Okay, I'm gonna go right up to my star. It should be dry at this point. And again, don't need to do this part. You can just forward or watch me for a minute and wait. We're almost done and we'll move on to some other things here. Ooh, I'm a little shaky. Let's see if I can finish the star without painting right over it. There it is. Okay, we have our star on there. Perfect. Okay, this is one thing though I would suggest you do do is outline where your roof is, okay? That's gonna give it that separation. So I'm gonna take my brush and try and brush straight across here. All the way down and see how it separates my roof for me. And this is kind of fun. This is one of the things I love to do to make it look like I have wood. I'll do a brush of paint and take my finger and make a streak, see that? So brush of paint, take my finger, and brush it out. See how it gives it kind of that rustic look to it? And it's all different sizes. Sometimes you get a big streak and sometimes you get a smaller one. Totally depends. Right off the canvas. Okay. So you can have fun with that. We're going to do the same thing along here. I'm going to put some black just along here like that and then brush it. Whoop. And don't worry if it's really big. We're going back with brown here in a minute. I'll show you what to do there. Just give it those fun little streaks there. There we go. So you're getting that barn look, right? Okay, so let's let Mary and Joseph dry a minute. Grab your large flat or medium flat. Put some dark brown on the corner of your brush. Just on the corner, okay? And let's just go down the edge there with the brown facing out and float the edge of your barn. My canvas is curling up on me right there. Sorry about that. And along here, a little bit of a shadow. And this is where you can paint over anything that may be bugging you with the black streaks. Oh, don't want that to happen. All right, go right along the edge here. Just floating along by Mary. Give your barn some wood streaks there. Brushing up and down with that lighter, lighter shade of brown. Okay, perfect. Here we go, one last little um, shadow along the rooftop here, just like that. Perfect. All right, let's just finish up our outlining here on the roof, or not the roof, sorry, the side of your barn. I'm gonna outline all the way down your um 
outlining over here with Mary and Joseph should be about ready for us to finish up their faces. Straight down if we can. I try to make it all the way down without picking up my brush. Okay, perfect. Okay, so let's do their eyes. Now, Mary and Joseph just have a little brush stroke for their eye. You can do any kind you want. I'm just gonna take my brush here with black on it and do a little stroke like that for one eye. And we're gonna come over here and do another one. Little stroke. Baby Jesus here. <laughs> You can our our artists love to to laugh at me when I do his eyes. I do one there, and the other one kind of curves a little bit. Oh, let's see. There it is. We're just doing little ovals here, just like that. <laughs> Okay, and then let's put some brown on our brush. Put a little bit of brown here. And we're gonna give him little eyebrows. One there. One there. And then a little nose. Go. All right, let that dry a second and let's put some black in our our hay, you can add some black strokes. And then let's do our highlights. So put some white on your detail brush, okay? And we're just gonna do a couple little white strokes here, one up by the star on each side. And a little bit in the wood. Just like we did the black, you can kind of brush it let it contrast the black. Just like that. And we're gonna do just some in the manger here. One there. Perfect. All right, guys, we are just about done. Put a little bit of a highlight here if you want to inside the halo around Jesus, baby Jesus. Okay, so you have a little bit of red. That's to put some rosy cheeks on them if you want. They're barely noticeable, so this is completely optional. I can see it on my painting, <laughs> but not everybody can see it. I'm making it super light. You can see my red is just a very light, light pink. Okay, very light, hardly noticeable. I'm just gonna come up here and brush it in to the cheeks on each cheek. Just like that. As well as on our little baby Jesus here. Barely noticeable. Flip your brush around, use the back, and get a good chocolate chip there. We're gonna add a little bit of a, a dot in each eye to give them that little bit of personality. Okay, I forgot a little highlight on Mary and Joseph just to finish them off. It kind of adds a little bit, so you don't want to forget your little highlights here. There. Just brings attention to them. I think that's everything. I love it, guys. The last thing we're going to do is sign our name, okay? One thing I like to do sometimes is put a little, a little sparkle in their cheeks if you want to add that white dot. All right, so find a special place to sign your name because as artists, we worked really hard to finish our piece and it looks awesome and we're proud of it. So 
Let's find a spot and use our little detail brush to sign our name. There we go. Perfect. Thank you so much for painting with me, you guys. Hope to see it. Be sure to tag us. We'll see you next time. Bye.